And besides, this drink is almost done. <laughs> and of course. Hey, 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 hey. Quick, Funito! What's that? Oh, is that a dance? Oh, my friends. Don't you try it again. If you do that, you'll be punished severely by the gods. You think my blood is no, red? No, don't do that here. Look, my blood is black. If you want, try it. Sacrifice me and see. <laughs> the gods will send me back with immediate effect. <laughs> I tell you. No, no. Look, I am not a simple man. I am here for a purpose in this effort. Gods! Yes, my priest. Please, please. Come and take Doyle away. The gods will send me back with Take him away. Get a feet down! No, no, you bastard! That's the dog. That is weird. Oh my goodness. Brings you to the palace this afternoon. Mbe, messengers of God do not wobble, they do not stagger. I am staggering because I am coming from the forest. From across the forest, from across the rivers, with a message of love. The prince of Bamasin Kingdom will be coming here tomorrow at noon with other elders to ask for your younger daughter's hand in marriage. That is the message of love, Mbe. That is the mission of love. Be prepared. Tomorrow at sunset. Be prepared, Be. Be. Messenger of the gods. Thank you very much. The kingdom of Bamuka will make the necessary preparations. Oh, Nupongi. Be. Be prepared. Be prepared tomorrow at sunset, Be. Be. Be prepared. Oh, Nupongi. So, how did you get Dad to let us out of the house today, without a guard? Have you forgotten I'm the prince? Yeah, yeah. Don't I already know that? That's my little secret. Okay, good for you. <laughs> prince, prince, prince. These guys have good stuff. Dollars, arrow, cookie. Wow. Is that why they're taking that long to bring the mail? Jesus, I'm hungry. This is Africa. Yeah. And of course, Baoka. Hello, <laughs> right? Hey, pretty lady. You're looking good. Anyways. This is my card. Feel free to call me anytime. And who the hell is this? Don't you have respect for royalty? I do not give a rat's ass who you are. You could go to Lucifer for all I care. I shall come back for you. You can find those girls. My people, it is with utmost joy that I receive you here in this palace this is evening. Charm for Ganya. I am most honored and pleased to receive this great entourage from Bamisin. Now that our kinsmen are here, what message did you bring for us? Let the prince speak by himself. Thank you, Be. We've traveled from far, far away, from Bamisin to Bamuka, 
to seek your daughter's hand in marriage. Which of my daughters? Your daughter, Princess Nora. Nobles and royalties, with all due respect, I will not marry Prince Lewis. Love knows no tradition, no ancestors, no gods. Love has no boundary. I will only marry the man of my dream. I am not a traditionalist. Excuse me. No, Ralph. No. Come back here. <laughs> Daddy, uh, I'm sorry. Your, my elders, your royal highness, the prince, please. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. I'll talk to my sister in private. Please. I'm, I'm sorry. Mom, you know, uh, Dad, sorry, Your Highness. Just spare me a minute. Your Majesty, our kinsmen, dear elders, I do apologize for this bust out. I promise you, I'm going to talk to my daughter, and everything will be arranged. I'm sure you were probably shocked when I called you. <laughs> shocked indeed. So how did you get my contact? I run the show around here. I could get your number anytime, anyway, and any place. <laughs> okay. I can see you so confident of yourself. Besides, I didn't know you looked for me after the encounter with my brother. I care very little about your brother or what he thinks. All I know is from the first day I saw you, there was something that I wanted in you. Hmm, so what is it that you really want from me? Nora, I think you and I are compatible. <laughs> Don't be too sure about that. But anyway, let's do this. <laughs> to us, to new beginning. <laughs> You're funny. Uh, collection Chanel bag. I actually got one. It's really beautiful. Trust me, you like it. Tina. <laughs> Tina, you always like that. Nora! I don't do dress shopping, you know. I'm always in bookshops. Come on, Nora. Uh, did you actually see any on TV or advert it? Mm -hmm. I've seen it. You know, all she does is book, books, book, buying novels. So she don't know that. When we were seeing your time over. Oh yeah, that's true. my that's true. god. You're my friend, I always tell you. Anyway, come on. Talk about your brother. You're not serious. Come on. I'm serious. Like after the banquet, I just I felt something for this guy. I don't know. That's a no-go area. He's not a serious person. Who is she talking about? Our brother, James. Girl, please forget about him. Ah, seriously, I I think I I like him. Tina, please. Please, you don't want to settle for that guy. I'm not serious. I insist. Well, <laughs> well, but. Hello, girls. Hey. Uh, yes, you are Tina. Last time at the banquet, right? Yes, she's Tina. So what, James? Wow, my pleasure. And what is this? What the fuck is this you brought me? You don't have no respect. You don't even have manners. You don't have no respect for royalty. You're trying to smoke in this palace. Are you mad? And you, Prince, where in the world did you pick up this prostitute? What is this nonsense all about? Young lady, that attitude is not allowed in this palace. We don't know where you're coming from, but that is really disrespectful. 
We can't let you smoke here. My prince, I shall take no further insults from your sisters here. Even the bitchy like me deserves some respect. I can see I'm not welcome in your palace. You know where to find me if you need me. Uh, 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 Lock our door, eh? What, what kind of nonsense is this? Let me go. My, my, my. That's the boy you're in love with. Was it for real? That's the boy you're in love with. Mm. I told you. To think I almost fell for that guy. I mean, I've never fallen in love at first sight with any man before. Ow. I had a lot of respect and admiration for him, but he's a total contrast to his personality. Oh, oh God, I think I, I need a rethinker. Well, maybe, yeah, I suggest maybe you follow your heart. He might change for you. <laughs> Man, that way, he could change for you. My sister is correct. You need to speak to him first, then we shall arrange a date and a you know, charming location so you guys can meet. To know each other. Mm -hmm. Deal? Yes. Ah, it's a deal. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deal. Now we're talking about that. Come on, girl. Let's. Just one. Not me. Just one. Are you looking to be your sister-in-law? Well, I don't know. Yes. 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 You cannot continue to live in this solitary life. I can assure you, Prince Lewis will soon be the king of banishing. And you will have a happy life with him. Daddy, that year you say happy together. Sure. But Daddy, you should know what is best for me. Daddy, why would you want to cause gloom and sadness for me? After all, Diane is the oldest, not me. Diane might be the oldest, yes, but Daddy chose you for some reason. I don't know, maybe tradition, right daddy? Sure, Diane. He made his choice and it fell on you. And we are happy about that. But I guess you should just obey, respect. And I hope it's not because of that boy. I hope it's not. I, I hope. Anyway, daddy, I'll be outside. Mommy. Look, my queen. I think it's time for you. I have shown her the right route, but seemingly she doesn't see it. I think if we waste time, we're going to lose this golden opportunity that we have. Take it easy on her, Your Majesty. I'll speak to her. You know, she's not used to these traditional settings. But I'm very sure my beautiful princess will not disappoint me. You. you better do it fast. Otherwise, the young man might change his mind. Oh, not for my beautiful princess. Thank you, Mom. Hey, what's up, ladies? How you doing, pretty chica? I hope I didn't keep you guys for too long. Mm, oh, it's okay. What's how you doing? You can do this usual. <laughs> Thank you. You know, I had this game at the club. It was a boner, this poker game. You know, it was a boner. I had, I had a pretty place to bet, and I was almost there, but I lost it. But you know me. You ain't no problem. I'm a baller, so I don't, you know, I don't get, you know, I get down. I'm, good. I'm, good. I'm doing good. Anyway, meet my sister, Princess Diane. Okay. Diane, meet Nixon and his friend, Rush. Hi. Yeah, this is my man Rush, you know, me and me, Rush, you know, you man before, like, we always hang down the club, you know how it goes, that we got, we got, you know, we got games we always do now. My man Rush is my, he's like my, you know what I'm saying, yeah. So, Nora? No, I'm sorry. We have to go. Come on, come on, okay. come on, you, you guys got your... We've been waiting too long. Come on, now, 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 I got a lot of fun stuff in the house, we could, you know, probably share a drink, you know, you know, hang out. That's alright. It's all right. Come on, time. you're killing it now. It's okay. okay. Come on, let's see. Okay. You want, you want me to see her? No, it's okay. All right. You sure don't want to me out, this? No, okay, good. Sure, All right, dude. Look. 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 Look.
You can't even say that. You don't even know him. Besides, I like his style of dressing and his and his confidence. No, bra. It doesn't take long to know a good person. That guy is a good for nothing boy. Anyway, I'll be introducing him to the king's men, the king and the queen. What? You're not serious. Why are you looking at me like that? So tell me how you been. You've been doing great. You're looking good as usual. <laughs> Thank you. You too. Very handsome as usual. Well, what can I say? It's like there's something there. You're not looking. Are you alright? Oh, I'm good. I'm just tired. <laughs> You're tired? Mm -hmm. Come down. Come to that. <laughs> you know I'm a pretty lady, right? Mm -hmm, yeah. There's something I've been meaning to ask you. This introduction of a thing, when do you think it's going to take place? Oh, tomorrow is a perfect day. The elders will be at the palace. Nara, I'm cool with that. I'd really love to dine and chill with your majesty. However, I do not believe in this royal holobalo, nor do I believe in this traditional hogwash. Come on, they're my family. But anyway, please. Humble yourself when you can, please. Come on, this dude is a humble guy. We're talking about Nixon here for Christ's sake. I know what I'm talking about. Please humble yourself. <laughs> okay. Anyway, I will be on my way, so I will see you tomorrow. I'll see you tomorrow. Need you forgetting something. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> You're just gonna sit down here and take me. You want me to? You know you were around. Come on. I'm just kidding. Let's get out of here. I can get your bag. Okay. Not a good Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Go for it. A lot has been going on in this kingdom since we came back and I don't need no one to tell me that all of that is because of you. It's because you don't want to marry the prince of Bamisin. I mean, I'm, not, I'm no traditionalist. I mean, aside what the chief priest and every other person is saying, I perceive danger. And I wouldn't like anything to happen to us. So, if I'm talking to you now, it's because I want you to take a decision on this and save us all this trouble. I mean, why don't you just marry the guy? It's not like he's bad looking. Do I, Diane, do I look like a traditionalist or have this? I mean, to have a culture or tradition. No, I don't know why it's so difficult for you to settle on this thing. I don't know why. I mean, big sis, check me out. Intelligent, gorgeous, sexy, to settle down with a local hero, all of a name of a prince. Then he keep his queen chief and another woman. I'm definitely not me. Nora, I'm not proud. You're all of that, all of what you say you are, yes, and more. But have you considered what will happen to you in the future? Because that brat of yours has nothing to offer. So you be careful the kind of decisions you take. That's why I'm talking to you now. All right? And if you don't want to take what I'm saying now, well, whatever happens to you in the future, <laughs> it's your problem. Diane, I said I don't have something important for us to talk about. When you have something important, 
Then let me help you, my lord. Hmm, no rap. No rap. What for Christ's sake? And you, Princess Dinah, you are a disgrace. There's a rumor around town that you are asking Prince Lewis to marry you. <laughs> After his failed plan with your kid sister? Oh God, that, that's a joke. That's amazing. You don't believe that, do you? James, you talk about disgrace. You talk about disgrace. You're a disgrace personified. You are are so disgustingly disgraceful, James. Look at the bitch you're going around with. Who the hell did you call bitch? If I hear one more word from that mouth of yours, I will show you what a bitch like me does to a two-faced princess. The princess is angry. Maybe we need to calm her down. Let me tell you, this is that. If you don't want to shut your mouth, else I will treat you like one bitch from the jungle. <laughs> James, she is a bitch. That's what she is, a bitch! What? You shot me. Let's get out of here. Well, my good time in this kingdom is being ruined by... by